Hey, yeah, I sit back, I collect money, I do nothing. No, I can't, don't you wish you could do that? No, I, I... <laughs> Take two. Yes. Yes, take two. Say this that was is magic though. So yeah, this is this is Can my you still use a piece of that? Probably. This is my intern Hannah. Hey. Hey, <laughs> David Faustino, nice to see you. Nice to see you. How are is you? Is it crazy? Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. <laughs> this is Dean Del Rey. He's Hello, my, sir. my co host. Yeah, He's man. Very, very funny I, 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 lo I, I loved Married with Children. Oh, thank whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, bro. You don't just go into that shit right at the top. Oh, all right. You work your way up to that shit. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you now? I'm 41, bro. Jesus Christ, yeah. dude. Slow the fuck down. I'm You're going to this to sensitive shit, dude. Let me fucking ask the questions. <laughs> you got to get into it. When you go fuck a chick, you don't just put your cock in her ass. You wait for wow. it. <laughs> wow. Hannah, Hannah, what do you think? Wow. I mean, I never want a cock in my ass, so I don't Ever? know. Ever? No. All right, really? yeah, it was nice to meet you. Be quiet now. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's Bud Bundy. <laughs> That's Bud Bundy. <laughs> May I see the back, please? So you have a radio show. Yeah, yeah. What's what's your radio show? <laughs> it's <laughs> it's uh <laughs> it's every Sunday night on Dash Radio. I don't know if you know Dash Radio yet. It's so dope, bro. Oh. It's like it's like having free satellite. Uh, and it goes, you know, it's you have 60 channels of every single music you can imagine, wow. live DJs. And instead of it being like, I know I'm selling it right no, now. No, this is of, awesome. Okay. Instead of it being like Pandora, one of these, you know, programs, you're listening to live music played by live DJs all day. I get really prepared. Like, I go in depth into the interview. As, as, as far as we're not prepared, I got a whole bunch of I can't of tell you. He's going, he said, I like Mary with children. <laughs> yeah, that was that's not cool. Yeah, that's I do. Cool. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. What, what was your rap name Mr. back Guido? in the day? Oh, you've seen that. Yeah. Little Gweed. Yeah. Little Gweed. Oh, I thought it was Little hey, Little. Someone's heard of him. He's <laughs> standing tall at five foot three. Yeah. But I'm as dope as can be. I'm the ha D A G E. No matter what it be. I'm kicking a funky style with my R H Y M E. So come on, y'all, and see me. Not on the deli TV. As Somebody read my wiki page. <laughs> Yeah. Just, what was your last thing that you acted I just, on? Uh, I just finished a film um, called The Night Before. Um, it's a comedy. Fred Willard's in it and a bunch of people like that. Like, uh -huh. uh, and uh, it's actually pretty funny. I actually thought it was a... <laughs> I, I really liked the role a lot. I, I had to play like sort of the dick of the movie. Oh, 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 look who's in the motherfucking hitty. <laughs> So we just finished that. Um, what else am I You're doing? You're doing a cartoon, you said? Uh, I do Legend of Korra. It's funny because of this Legend of Korra thing I was telling you about. It has like this weird cult following because it's sci-fi. When I say weird, I mean huge cult following. Like there'll be tons of people watching this who know Legend of Korra. It's very bizarre. Mm. It's a world, it's another world, but they're all, they're human. And it's cool what I was saying to the, the Legend of Korra generation is because like I'll go to Comic-Con, which we were the only cartoon, by the way, that had the big ballroom. Like the Game of wow, Thrones ball, really? the only cartoon, and our, our our crowd started lining up. I shit you not, at 11 o'clock p.m. for an 11 a.m. Uh, you know. That's crazy. They stayed all night. All night, bro. Wow. Dressed up as the characters, crazy. But my point is, is like it's cool because after, during the signing autographs, you know, you'll get. These, these these youngsters, I mean, up until 18, 19, some of them never heard of Married with Children. Mm. Never. But yeah. they know Mako, Mako. Wow. But then their parents or somebody will be there and they'll be like, Bud! Yeah. You know, so I'm, I'm really grateful to have, like, a whole new generation mm. of fans that don't even know who the hell Bud Bundy is. How did you get the role? You auditioned? Did you have to go two, three times? Did you go once and get the role? Did you think it was going to be great? Well, it's a funny story, actually. I'm glad you asked because um, it was, you know, I had been working since I was three months old. I, like my first job when I was Yeah, what was infant. the commercial you did? When you were well, that was the Lily Tomlin special. Oh, the Lily uh, Tomlin yeah, special. Yeah. And then I did Love Boat, Fantasy Island, all that stuff. All the shows of those days, wow. you know. And then Mary with Children came along, which was just another audition. And I didn't get it. I went on two calls and uh, I only got to two auditions and they actually hired another kid. Uh, to play Bud Bundy. Wow. An actor named, no, I'm just playing. Oh. And um, he didn't work out, luckily for me, and either did the sister, bro. The, the, the wow, one they who was supposed to play Kelly, kids. yeah. And apparently they just didn't work out. 
it was sad because what I heard was the mother of the boy, the kid that was supposed to play Bud. It wasn't so much that he wasn't good. It was that the mother like drove them insane. Terrible star wow. mom. So yeah. you want to thank the mom. She, like, so Jeopard thank her for being a nightmare. Thank you. And she's no, she's someone semi-famous. But oh. anyway, you know, Bud Bundy would come downstairs and he'd have like two hot pieces of ass, and you just have that fucking smile. Right. You yeah. know what I mean? And I know that smile because when I was on MTV, I had that same smile. Yeah. You know what I mean? We were pretty much the luckiest guys. I did the show. Do you remember when I did the show? Yeah, I do. Um, you played his boss. Yeah, I played. Uh, that was a great. You did really good in the show, man. That was a very funny episode. Hey, we got a lot of unhappy passengers out there, crewman Bundy. Talk to me like a person. Oh, um, like okay, like old dude. <laughs> 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 Threw the burger yeah. in there, and I'm like, you didn't make the, the noise, sound. Bundy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't make the. You didn't make the noise, Bundy. You didn't make the noise, Bundy. Whoosh. <laughs> No, you know what's interesting is I think David Spade said this. You spend so many years trying to come up with something, and then you spend so many years trying to get away from that. That's is hilarious. that is that something that you're going through a little bit? Or? I don't. I don't know. I just keep it moving. I don't yeah. try to get away. You know? yeah. There's no getting away. There's no. You getting just away. keep doing it. Yeah. From the time I started getting recognized heavily at 15, 14, 15, I fucking hated it, man. I got to tell you. I mean, of course. The one good thing was you met some girls. Like, that was awesome. <laughs> that was amazing. But, dude, I was so paranoid. And I I would, instead of enjoying it, I was, like, weird about it. You know what I mean? I was, it was, I was so big. It was so big. And I was, like, paranoid all the time. Yeah. And I, I always had a hat and fucking sunglasses. And I don't know. I just And when people called me Bud, I took offense. You know, I was like, fuck you. I, you know, I, I didn't get that there was, like, love behind it. You know, yeah. like people like love that character. Like yeah, you gotta understand a, that you touched people. Like yeah, you know. I didn't get it. Like they were just trying to give love, and I'm like, yeah, you know. And now I'm not like that anymore. Just, because you're older. I'm older, and I appreciate older, it. And yeah. I still, you know, yeah. I could tell people just love that character. You know, he's yeah. a non-threatening guy that people could relate to. Yeah, know? yeah. Well, I want to say thanks for sitting down. That's with it. Me. Oh, I don't That's get to it. talk about myself anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice hanging out with you guys. Yeah, thank you. And I guess I got nothing else to shamelessly plug. But thank you, brother. Wait, one more. Okay, hold on.